Hi guys, welcome to our channel. So today's session we are going to discuss about 8 bit division function. Okay. So in 8085 microprocessor, there is no provision to performing the direct division function. Okay. Suppose you want to perform the division function, you should apply the repeated subtraction function. Okay. So before writing the 8 bit division program, first you will check how many registers you involve in the program. Okay. So in this program, I am involving the three registers. Namely, A register, B register and C register. So, these two registers are used for getting the data. So, you are getting the two data. This C register is used to store the iteration count. So, how many times you want to subtract with A register and B register values. Okay, that you can find before writing the program. Okay. The first one is program counter and next column is a program. You can write the program in this column. The origin of the program is 2100. So 2100 is the origin of the program. You can get the instruction move immediate C comma 00 H. Okay. So in this instruction performing the whatever value present in the immediate this value is transferred to C register. So after the execution of this instruction now C register value is 00 H. It's a 2 byte instruction. You increment the program counter value plus 2. Now you can get 2102. So in this location, you can get the instruction LDA 4300H. This 4300H is the memory location. So in this location, whatever value present, here I am taking 03. So this value is goes to accumulator register. So after execution of this instruction, the 0, 03 is transferred to accumulator. Okay, it's a 3 byte instruction. You can increment the program counter value 3. So 2105, the new address location. So in this address location, you can get the instruction move B comma A. Okay. Now B value is 0, 03. So after execution of this instruction, A value is transferred to B. Okay. The next instruction. You get from 2106, the program counter address location is 2106. Now, you get the instruction LDA 4301H. So, now you can get the second value from the memory location 4301H. Here I am taking 09. So, this value is go to A. So, accumulator. Okay, after execution of this instruction, A register value is 09. Okay. So, so far you are getting the two data. One data get from 4300H, second data get from 4301H. Okay. So, it's a 3 byte instruction. You can increment the 3 memory location. Now, the program counter value is 2109. Okay. So, in this location, you can get the compare instruction. So, it's a new instruction for division program. So, compare. Just comparing the two register value. Okay. The first value get from A register and second value get from B register. Just comparing the two register value. So A and B. So this instruction provide the three possibilities of output. The first two possibilities is greater. So A value is greater than B. The second possibility A value equal to B. Third value A value less than B. There are three possibilities of output produced in the compare instruction. So, this instruction affecting the flag register also. Okay. The first two instruction. So, the first two result A value greater than or equal. Okay. So, in this case, the carry value is 0. Okay. The carry flag is said to be 0. So, in this instruction, A less than B. So, here the carry value is said to be 1. Okay. So, this condition is very important to write the division program. Okay. Now, comparing the two register value A and B. Okay. So, A register value 0, 09, B value 0, 3. Okay. Just comparing the two content here, A value is greater than B. Next, we check the condition JC. 2, 1, 1, 2. So, here JC represents for jump on carry. Okay. So, before that I told in A greater than B, 
in this case carry value is zero there is any carry produced in the condition so this condition is false okay so once false the condition it execute the next instruction okay the next instruction you can get from 210d so here you write subtract b okay so here subtracting the two register content now a value is 09 okay b value the a column binary number of b value 03 okay just subtracting the two content 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 there is no possibility you can get the borrow from the nearest bit so this is the nearest bit so here 1 here 10 okay so 10 minus 1 1 1 minus 0 1 0 minus 0 0 so this value is 0 0 minus 0 0 so remaining 4 bits of 0 the first iteration is over first time you subtract the a value minus b value the count is 1 next instruction increment c so after subtraction of a minus b now increment the c register value now c register value is 0 on the edge ok so after incrementing again the next instruction is jump to 109 ok so in this instruction without checking any condition a transfer to the specified memory location the specified memory location is 2109 so here again goes to the program so in this location you pass compare b again comparing the b register value with a register value ok now a register content is 06 b value same value ok so in this case also a value is greater than b again check the condition in this condition is provide any carry or no carry ok so here also no carry because it's a greater value so condition is false again go to the next instruction subtract b so subtract the b value with a value so b value is 0 3 you write the b value ok then you subtract the a and b value so 0 minus 1 no possibilities of subtraction you get the borrow from the nearest bit 10 10 minus 1 1 so here 0 so there is no possibility of subtraction borrow get from the nearest bit now this value is 10 10 minus 1 1 so it goes to 0 so 0 0 0 0 0 0 ok so after subtraction it is a second iteration is over ok then you increment the C register value so C register value increment to 1 so increment by 1 now c register value is 0 to hatch then jump to 109 again go to the memory location 21019 it specified the compare instruction again comparing the value so a register value and c register value now you can get the a register value is 03 b register value is 03 so in this case both the values are equal ok so a is equal to b so here also the carry value is 0 ok so next this condition is false execute the next instruction subtract b so now subtracting the b value with a value you write the b value subtracting the two values 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 the third iteration over then increment c increment the c register value 0 3 hatch now then go to the jump location so jump 2109 go to this instruction compare b now the a register value is 0 0 b register value is 0 3 so in this case it less than so a value is less than b the carry value set to be 1 so the carry value is set to be 1 in this case the condition is true so once true the condition skip the instructions so these three instructions you skip directly go to the memory location 2112 so come here ok so in this instruction write sta4350 ok so whatever value present in accumulator that value is transferred to 4350 memory location so 4350 is a output ok so in this location you can store 00
नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन फोर थ्री फाइव वन नेक्स्ट अड्रस लोकेशन ओके सो मू एमा सी सो वट एवर वाल्यू प्रसेंट इन सी दू ट्रांसफर टू अक्यूमुलेटर सो सी रिजिस्टर वाल्यूज जीरो थ्री सो आफ्टर एक्सिक्यूशन आफ दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन द जीरो थ्री एज ट्रांसफर टू ए अक्यूमुलेटर ओके नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन एस टी ए फोर थ्री फाइव वन सो वट एवर वाल्यू प्रसेंट इन अक्यूमुलेटर दट वाल्यू गोस टू द स्पेसिफाइड मेमरी लोकेशन फोर थ्री फाइव वन द सी वाल्यू इज जीरो थ्री ओके सो आफ्टर एक्सिक्यूशन ऑफ दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन इज हॉल्ट ओके सो हॉल्ट इज ए एंड ऑफ द प्रोग्राम दर इज नो इंस्ट्रक्शन आफ्टर द हॉल्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके सो इट्स अ प्रोग्राम ऑफ डिविजन सो इन दिस प्रोग्राम यू कैन गेट द टू इनपुट ओके सो ए एंड बी यू कैन गेट द टू इनपुट टू आउटपुट्स यू कैन गेट द टू आउटपुट्स सो वन आउटपुट नेमली कॉल्ड एस रिमाइंडर एंड अनदर वन क्वेश्चन okay so remainder is stored in 4350 in this 4350 memory location you can store the remainder so in this problem the remainder is 00 okay 4351 you can store the quotient value okay now the quotient value is 03 this is the result of the program okay the main key point is first you know the compare instruction greater value or less than value or equal based on that only you can proceed the remaining instructions okay so thanks for watching my channel thank you